Hello, Harry. How are you? Hello, Aziz. I'm fine. I'm oh, fine fantastic. Here. I saw you some send me the homework, right? Uh, yes, I just uh, I just uh, give you uh, my uh, letter and uh, I think the record I will give you after this meeting. Okay, fantastic. It sounds very good to me. It makes me feel very happy and excited to see that you are undertaking this homework with ownership. All right. So, okay. Harry, how do you feel today or tonight, dear? We are flat. Uh, I think uh, it's just uh, more fun because uh, learn, learn with you because uh, every night just uh, stay at home and play game. So boring. Okay, okay, I do understand. So this is a very good time to take yeah. advantage of the time. Um, and a healthy recommendation. I'm going to tell you something that works for me and maybe will work for you, right? I always give my students tips. I, I, I heard from other students that there is a lockdown, lockdown during Vietnam. Is that correct? Uh, yes. So... Well, I don't know if you do it, but my recommendation is to always organize your agenda and trying to find new things to do at home. Then when you yeah. do this, it's like you're not going to be like bored. You will find new things to do and you will take advantage of the time. Maybe you can, I don't know, try to find the appliances right, that are damaged at home. I'm not telling you to do this because if you are not a technician, you may damage the appliances and then you start like, all right? Or maybe trying yeah. to do some exercise and exercise routine every day is gonna help you a lot. Maybe you start jumping the roof like this. Yeah. I don't know whether you do that or maybe try. routine like okay this day i'm going to do this obviously at home maybe um can you hear me well uh my wi-fi is kind of like not good now now what about now can you hear me well okay can you hear me well now uh, yes okay fantastic so i was saying to you Maybe like try to organize your daily routine, a new agenda, try to learn new things, or maybe to learn new things in English. That uh, in English, yeah. that is going to be something better for you because it's going to help you improve your skills to polish your skills, right? So, Harry, yeah. so uh, can you tell me what did we talk about in our last class? Uh, our last class, we learned about how to write an informal letter. In the last class, we learned about how to write an informal letter. Uh, let me ask you something, uh, by the way. Uh, do you have your letter over there so we can, so I can listen to the information? Uh, yes, I have here. Could you please be so kind and read it for me, just do, uh, so I can make sure uh, about how good you did it? Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, the analysis, lovely to hear from you after so long. It's great to know that you are still happy and healthy. All right. As you, as you always are. And it is ever greater to know that you are planning to come and study in Ho Chi Minh City. As oh. an exchange student next year. Uh, you will never know how elated I was after hearing that news. I almost jumped it with joy. If only you had you had seen my mom's face at that time, she, she started at me as if I had some kind of mental illness. Okay, I think that's enough for my silly feeling. Uh, let's get down to business. I will give uh, I will give you some big, some basic information about my place so that you won't encounter so many problems when living here. First thing, you will need a place to live in, and of course, you can live in my house. I have, on, I have asked my parents, and they all agree. I'm more than willing to share the room with you, and we can play games, and we can play games together all night. You also want to find a part-time job too, don't you? 
at four. I know there's an English center near my house. We eat thirsty, thirsty, uh, for foreign teachers. Fortunately, my university has some evening class for foreigners to attend. This won't be a big problem anymore when you learn in Vietnam. In Vietnam, uh, when you learn Vietnamese here, uh, the teacher are totally red. At the letter is getting right along. I have to stop now. Uh, can wait to see you in Vietnam, Harry. Nice. Great job. Amazing. If you tell me uh, what your score is going to be, it's going to be 100. Great job. So yeah. for a very long time, I have, I have not seen the something like this, a quality job like that. All right. So it makes me feel very happy. And the passion, there was an extra ingredient you put into it. Was I see here that you put certain level of passion. Yeah. You put passion in it. It was very yeah. good. So, and I will encourage you to keep like this. If you want to see yourself speaking better English, doing a better job, improving your English, that is the way. That is the way to go. Great job. So now let's continue. All right, Harry. Let me tell you something. Uh, this style of the letter was very good. Just one recommendation. The only recommendation I have for you that will help you, I imagine that you would like to speak neutral. All right. So let's talk about neutralization. When I'm saying neutralization, um, is a very important imitation. Do you know what is imitation? Uh, actually, I don't know. Let me tell you what imitation is. For example, I'm talking right now, and you see Tisha Alexis talking, and you say like, for example, you imitate the way how I speak. For example, I see a guy talking like. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? So, and then I copy the way how he speaks. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? I try to speak the same. That is imitation. You try to imitate. All right. Uh, okay. My healthy recommendation for you, if you want to improve the English speak, uh, English speaking skills, try to imitate the native speakers. For example, when you're talking, uh, there is something in English that we call mannerisms. Mannerism is the way how we imitate. For example, if you are speaking, you know you're Vietnamese, but maybe you may speak English like somebody that is from Vietnam, but not like somebody that is from a native speaker, native speaking country. Remember that the target, all right, which means your goal or you're trying to achieve is to speak like somebody from that country. Am I right? Yes. Understand that? And then you try to imitate. For example, look at the way how I'm going to speak. For example, if I imitate somebody from, New from, from Texas, I may be declaimer. All right, declaimer, disclaimer. So I'm not trying to bully anybody. I'm not trying to have fun for not anyone. So I'm just giving you some techniques. All right. So that you can potentially use it on your favorite to improve your speaking fluency. The tone of voice, meaning the way how you orally produce, it's important. For example, if I imitate somebody from Alabama, I may speak English like, do you know Alabama in the United States? Or have you ever heard about Alabama? You're mute. You're mute. Um, uh, not... okay, okay, okay. Okay. Do you know Alabama in the U.S.? Uh, I actually don't know a lot of country. Okay, no problem. For example, if you're trying to imitate somebody from the south of the United States, so for example, they kind of speak like this. Look at the way how you speak. Hey, Johnny, come here. Don't call to my house no more. I don't want to see you here. They speak like that. But if you are talking like somebody maybe like Jersey or New York, I imagine you, you have heard about New York, right? Uh, yes. So normally, usually people in New York, they feel like, hey, bro, how are you doing, bro? Yo, whatever. How do you feel? They speak kind of like that. So then, so you listen to these people talking like that, and then Harry, later you're going to be like, hey, how are you doing? How are you? 
I have you fine. And then that is when you copy this speaking style, this is speaking pattern. So there will be some of them that you're gonna feel comfortable with, all right? Like the way, all right? You can speak however you want, all right? But just try to like, to, um, the intention of this is to encourage you. For example, when you speak, if you speak like me, Harry, I'm gonna say this, this, then it's gonna be, it's going to sound like more Vietnamese. And what I want you to do is to sound like more natural, all right? More looking for, all uh, right, the, the target language, in this case, English, and you will see changes. Do you understand that? Uh, yes. Okay. Let me show you here. Let me share my screen to you so we can start with the class. Okay, so now we are starting a new lesson. I think we finished unit number one, all right? So today we are going to be covering like the, new, the new unit and obviously a new lesson. Looking back, all right? This is the new unit, vocabulary and listening. So let me ask you something. How did you feel? How did you feel yesterday, Harry? I can say again. How did you feel yesterday? Uh, yesterday I feel uh, uh, kind of uh, like uh, silly because uh, yesterday I just uh, joined a trial class about coding. Uh, but oh, really? Yeah, but the school uh, like uh, give me a teacher and uh, she, uh, she, uh, she, she is Indian and uh, she speak English. I actually cannot hear what she say. And uh, I just like, I just said, and yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, when it happens to you, I'm gonna say, if you do not understand the language, the reason you may not understand the, the this person, if she was speaking in English, maybe is because you may be unfamiliar with her pronunciation, or yeah. maybe because there are some words that you have never heard, I will encourage you to learn words every day that will improve your vocabulary in this way so you will get familiarized sometimes when it comes to her accent or his accent or pronunciation i will encourage you i will suggest you try like not always but try like to close your eyes keep like this if you do not understand something you tell it can you please repeat and then you just like try to listen carefully like you close a little bit your eyes and you're like, oh, okay, he's saying this, she is saying that. Understand? Okay. It will help you. If you do not understand something, go ahead and ask again because okay. you need to listen again. Okay, so exercise number one, Harry, we are going to look at the photos and let me ask you something. How do you think these people are feeling? We are going to use the adjectives below, all right? And then after that, I want you to tell me, why do you think they are feeling that like that? So look at the adjectives over here. So okay, we have a friend. My Wi-Fi just uh, stopped and I cannot hear. Okay, yeah, I, I noticed. I realized that it's, it is stopped. Okay, so yeah, yeah. look at what we are going to do. So. Uh, we are going to look at the photos, this ones, all right? And then I want you to tell me, I want you to tell me, all right, how do you think these people are feeling? How do you think these people are feeling? So then okay. we are going to use this adjective below, the one in purple, like afraid, amused, ashamed, confused, delighted, etc., etc., etc. All right? And then after this, okay. I would like you to tell me why do you think they are feeling like that? So, and look at the, the, the patterns we are going to follow. Look at the, the way how we are going to do this. You can do it this way. For example, I think the voice, I think the voice in photo number one, all right, looks like, I don't know, maybe happy. I don't know. And then you say, maybe he's happy because his father take, took him to the airport 
<laughs> yeah, that's just an idea, right? All right, to pick somebody there. That is just an idea. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna tell you number one. How do you think number one is feeling? Uh, I think uh, in picture number one, uh, the boy, the boy, uh, maybe look like uh, he kind of confuses because he, uh, he 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 seems to be confused. Yeah, I think so. Okay, confused. All right. Number two. And what about number two? What do you think about picture number two? Uh, I think in picture number two, uh, the boy uh, look disappointed. In picture number two, the guy looks disappointed. Like, really, really. <laughs> All right. And what about picture number three? She's like, oh. What do you think yeah. about picture no photo number three? Uh, for picture number three, I think uh, she like she really shocked that like she see something. Okay, so you can also say this one, Harry. Like, I think she is shocked. Um, because of because of that, maybe, or I think she is shocked. Maybe she is shocked because of this, this, and this. You can use it this way. All right. And why do you think she's shocked? Say it again one more time. Uh, I think the girl in the photo look uh, shocked. Maybe, maybe she uh, she see a bad thing. All right. Uh, maybe she saw a bad thing. All right. Number four. What do you think is happening with with the lady? All right, the blonde lady on the airplane, in the airplane. Uh, I think uh, in picture number four, uh, the girl look uh, very afraid. Maybe because she's scared of uh, the height and now she sit on the plane. All right, maybe she's scared because she never been in a plane, in a plane or inside a plane on board. So let me see. Uh, maybe she never been on a plane. All right. So let's continue with number five. What do you think is going on with the lady? All right, in the picture number five. Uh, I think in picture number five, she kind of like uh, she brown and she amused because maybe because she uh, have the the cup, she win the cup. Okay, maybe she she wanna uh, um maybe she's also happy or proud because she won a trophy. Yeah, a prize. Very good, uh, fantastic. I love your perspective. So look at this. Uh, this is what we are going to do now, we. I mean, Harry, this is what we are going to do. Right now, we are going to listen to this audio. I will encourage you to listen carefully the information. And once you listen to the information, listen to the eight short strats, and then how each person is fit, how is person is feeling, all right? You're going to choose the correct adjective. You're gonna tell me, for example, you listen, oh, I'm just nervous and shaky because of this. And then you will choose whether it's afraid or depressed, amused or irritated, delighted or jealous, fed up or nervous, etc. Do you understand? Uh, yes. Fantastic, look at this, listen here. Here we go. Listen to this. Unit two. Lesson listen? two A. Listen well? Exercise two. Fantastic. One. What? What are you doing? Get away from me. Are you? You're not. This isn't possible. Get away from me. Two. This bed is really, oh, uncomfortable. What's the time? Two in the morning? And I have to get up early. Oh. Three. Yes, I know. Who'd have thought it? She's already got the best-looking boyfriend in town and the richest parents, and now she's got to play to the best university. It isn't fair, is it? 
everything in her life is always so perfect. She's so lucky. Four. Oh, hi. Yes, I was just wondering if you... How are you? Uh, okay? Good. Yes, I was wondering if you were doing anything tonight. You're probably busy. Yes, I expect so. <laughs> Don't worry if you are. Just oh, forget it. I'll call you soon. Oh, you aren't busy. Well, would you like to, uh Five. My phone? Where is it? I think I left it... No, hang on. Oh, it's OK. Phew, I've got it. It's here at the bottom of my bag. Well, that's lucky. I don't know what I'd do without my phone. Six. I don't believe it. Six one we lost. And we were one nil up at half time. What a disaster. And it was the last match of the season too. We needed to win it. But we lost. Seven. That's strange. I'm sure Jack said the party was tomorrow. I just got a text from him saying, where were you? It doesn't make sense. And when I phoned him, he didn't answer. Oh, very weird. I wonder what's going on. Eight. Oh, no. I didn't realise it was meant to be a surprise. I'm so sorry. I told Anna all about it. Oh, I've spoiled everything. I feel really bad about it. OK. Amazing. So did you listen well, Harry? Uh, yes. OK, fantastic. So now let me see. What about number one? What do you think how number a speaker number one is feeling? Do you think the speaker number one is feeling afraid or depressed? Which one of this? Uh, I think number one, uh, this guy is afraid. Let's see. That's right. Well done. Great job. That is correct. OK, so number two. Is the speaker number two feeling amused or irritated? Uh, I think number two is ir irritated. Okay, irritated. That's right. Uh, number three. Is the speaking? Uh, is the speaker number three feeling delighted or jealous? Uh, I think number three is jealous. Jealous. You think the speaker number three is feeling jealous? All right, so let's see here. What about speaker number four? Speaker number four. Is speaker number four feeling fed up or nervous? I think it is fed up. All right, let's see. Uh, in fact, speaker number four it was feeling nerv nervous because she was like, she was like, she was acting like, all right. Uh, and I think, and she's like, you know, she was like kind of, uh, you know, insecure. And when it happens to somebody, it's because may be nervous, all right? Okay. Number four, number five. Do you think the speaker number five, she, he was talking like, oof. Was he feeling homesick or relieved? Uh, I think he is relieved. That is correct. Well done. Great job. So, a speaker, a speaker number six. Is the speaker number six feeling Disappointed or embarrassed? Uh, I think uh, speaker number six feel disappointed. Disappointed, that's right. And what about the speaker number seven? Is he confused or upset? Uh, I think he feel com confused. Confused, all right. Uh, uh, the S and the E, it's not gonna be like confused. Confused, all right? Yes. Confused, all right. So, and what about the speaker number eight? Do you think the speaker number eight is guilty or shocked? Uh, I think uh, speaker number eight is feel guilty. That is right. Well done. Great job. Feels guilty. That is correct. So let's continue with this. Look at this. Um, for it's very important to use the, in order for us to complete this exercise, I think it's quite important, all right, to understand 
All right, how to use this, um, the adjectives plus prepositions. In English, all right, to describe feelings, all right, in, in, in English to describe, all right, adjectives, all right, or the adjectives to describe feelings are often used in these structures. And this is such a like adjectives plus a preposition plus a noun or maybe a pronoun. Look at there. So there are different adjectives, all right? And these different adjectives take different prepositions. Like, for example, can you read this, this for me? Uh, I'm bored with this weather. I am bored. I am bored with this weather. With. With this weather, weather. I'm sorry. Okay, number two. Are Are you scared? Uh, where is this? Ah, okay, okay. Are you scared of spider? Are you scared of of spiders? All right, oh, okay. all right. This is the preposition here. Another one is. And in the case of W H questions which means question words like what, which, how, where, all of these questions, all right? How is something different, but, all right? Um, for example, W is questions like what, where, okay, which, all of these type of questions, all right? We use the prepositions often. We use in these prepositions, all right, at the end of the, of the sentences or questions, all right? Can you read those two examples for me? Uh, what, which is the one? Uh, those two, right here. Right at the bottom. Uh, okay. Uh, what are you angry about and who is she scared of? Okay, what are you angry about and who is she scared of? All right, so then I want you to help me, Harry. Can you help me to complete this exercise? Okay. With about. So I want you to use any type of adjectives using about. For example, look at this one. I'm confused about the way how the way she's doing this. Okay. I am relieved about the answer she gave me. Can you use an adjective with about? Uh, this kind of this called me. Okay, maybe you can use. Let me let me see. I'm gonna help you. I'm going to use happy. Happy. Okay. Happy. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Can uh, you use about? Can, can, uh, about? can you use a sentence, for example? Uh, like. I wrote about, I have a trophy. I'll say it again one more time. Uh, I wrote about, I have a trophy. Okay, that's fine. And also you can say, for example, I am happy about your good job. As simple as that. All right, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Harry? Harry, can you hear me? Oh, okay, can, can you hear can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Uh, yes. All yes, right. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, so for example, you can say, Well, I feel happy about your good job. Or I feel happy about the way how you work. Or I feel relieved because I already get my cell phone. All right, something like that. I already got my cell phone. So number two, can you tell me a sentence with we, with, with an adjective that has with? Uh... I am I am with I am with the dog with that dog. Okay, say it again one more time. 
Uh, I amused with that dog. Or I am amused. You say with with the dog. Yeah. With the dog. With the dog. All right. So let me ask you something. Can you tell me another one with off? Uh, off. Uh, I think. Uh, Uh, I actually don't know this one. Okay, for example, okay, um, let me show you one. I'm afraid of dogs. I'm afraid I'm proud of you. I'm jealous of your, um, I'm jealous of your skills. I am ashamed, I'm ashamed of the way how he did the things, these things. So you can use it this way. Okay. Look at this, for example, this question, who is she is care of this way? Can you use, can you make one of the sentences like that? Mm, okay, let me think. Yeah, organize your ideas. Oh, I think it's so difficult for me. Okay, let me just show you. For example, let me show you here. Look at it right here. All right, let me just use the chat. What? Okay, I, I know it. Okay, please show me what are you made of. <laughs> All right, uh, which means show me your potential, how good I, you are. I tired of every day, uh, just stay at home. Okay, that's right, you see, it's easy. Okay. That's pretty much it, so look at there. Let me just show you, let's continue. Okay, so let's continue with this one. So now we are going to complete the questions and then you're gonna tell me, all right, you're gonna tell me, so what is the correct preposition and why? Okay, you're gonna complete the questions with the prepositions. Then you're going to listen to the five people talking about events in their lives and then answer, answer the questions. Listen to this. Okay, let me just move this right here at the bottom. Okay, listen carefully. Okay. Oh, wow. Lesson 2A, exercise 4. Listen carefully. One, Millie. Okay, Millie. When I was five or six, my dad was in a play. He was really into drama and acting at that time. Anyway, Mum took me and my brother to see this play. I don't think it was really suitable for children. We only went because my dad was in it. He played this horrible character, really mean and scary. I was terrified. And after the play, hey. when we all went home, I was really afraid of my dad. It only lasted for a few days, but I remember it very clearly. Two. Sam. We had a dog called Wolfie when I was a young boy. Wolfie never did what he was told. Anyway, one day I asked my mum if I could take Wolfie for a walk on my own. I suppose I was seven or eight at the time. She told me not to take him too far from the house. So anyway, I took Wolfie to the park opposite our house and he ran off. I called and called, but he didn't come back. I didn't know what to do. 
Eventually, I walked home, and there he was, sitting by the front door. I was so pleased to see him. I think I cried. Three, Alex. Okay, Alex. When I was six, my older sister took part in an ice skating competition. It was in London, and the whole family went along to watch her. It was quite a big event, the National Junior Championship, or something like that. We were quite surprised when she got through to the final part of the competition. When she came onto the ice again, we all cheered and clapped. And believe it or not, she won. She won the whole competition. I couldn't believe that my own sister was the champion. It made me feel so good. I told everybody at school about it. Four, Sophie. Eight, number four. When I was about eight, I was a member of a tennis club. I went every Saturday morning and played for two hours. I wasn't very good, and I didn't enjoy it. But I went every week. For some reason, I didn't tell my mum and dad that I didn't like tennis club. I thought they would be angry if I admitted it, so I said nothing. Then one day in the car on the way there, I said to my dad, "I really don't want to go. I don't like tennis." He wasn't angry at all. Of course you don't have to go," he said. "We only took you there every week because we thought you enjoyed it." Five, Tom. When I was a kid, my parents didn't have a lot of money. I mean, we weren't really poor. We had enough for clothes and food and stuff like that. But a lot of my school friends came from richer families. There was one boy, my best friend for years. His name was Adam, who always got everything he wanted. He seemed to get a new bike every year. <laughs> I had the same bike for about five years, and it wasn't new when I got it. I really wanted to be Adam, or at least I wanted to have his parents. Even me. All right, so let's complete the exercise. Let me, let's see number one. Who was merely afraid? Uh, when, uh okay. Uh, Millie was afraid uh, of her dad. Of her dad with a horror character when he wear a suit of a horror character. Okay, that's correct. She was afraid of number two. What was son? What was son relief? As, uh, uh, how did he react? Uh, what was son relief about? Uh, son relief relief about his dog. Uh, his dog just run away, and when he come back home, he's sitting down in front of the dog. Okay, fantastic. So let me see here. Number three, who was Alex proud? Uh, who was Alex proud of? Uh, Alex was proud of uh, his sister because uh, she is skating very well at a uh, big competition. Okay, fantastic. Let me see. What about the next one, number four? What was Sophie? What was Sophie fed up, and what did she do about it? Uh, I just know that that she fed up about, and uh, the question I uh, have no idea. Okay, so actually, let me just help you. Sophie was fed up with uh, with going to tennis to the tennis club, she told her dad she didn't like playing tennis, all right? That was the reason. She didn't like playing tennis. She was not passionate about tennis. Number six, uh, number five, I'm sorry. Who was Tom Jealous? Uh, there's a, who was Tom Jealous? Huh? Uh, That's he, right. He Jealous with his friend that uh, he, he will get everything uh, he wants. Uh, yeah, family. that's right. He will, uh, uh, yeah, that is correct. He will, okay, have everything uh, as he wanted to have, right? So yeah. fantastic. Has, fantastic, Harry. Let's continue. All right, let's proceed to the next exercise. Number five, look at this. To me, this exercise is very inter interesting. 
All right, we are going to look at the adjectives below and make notes about the last time you felt like that. I would like you to tell me, when was the last time you felt nervous? Last time you feel irritated? Last time you feel delighted? Last time you feel afraid? Shocked, confused, homesick, disappointed? So you're gonna tell me all of them. Okay. Uh, I think I need a five minutes to write on this one. Oh, you, you think, yeah, actually, uh, I remember that it'll be part of the homework. I, I, I did forget to tell you, but um, look at what we are going to do. So I'm going to give you like two minutes to organize your idea. And then okay. you tell me, do you think that's going to be fine if I give you four minutes? Uh, maybe two minutes. Two minutes. That's fantastic. Very good. Okay, take you two minutes and then let me see what you do. I'm here. Just waiting. Once you finish, let me know. All right. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Again, I see the adjective. Okay, so let me see. So can you tell me, Harry, when was the last time you felt, you felt nervous? Uh, the, the last time I felt nervous was when I stand front of all students at the school and I stated. Okay, well, you mentioned when you were a new student or an old student at the school. Uh, I just when I just a uh, student at school. Ah, when you when you started the school, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fantastic. And last time, when you felt irritated? Uh, the last time I feel irritated was when my friend just make a joke at me. Okay, and the last time you felt delighted? Uh, the last time I feel delighted was when I got a parrot. Oh, was when you got a parrot? All right, and when yeah. was the last time you feel? Afraid. Uh, the last time I feel afraid. Uh, the, the last time I feel afraid was when uh, my my brother just make uh just make a joke on me. Okay, and when was the last time you feel confused? Uh, the last time I feel confused. Uh.
was uh, when I just say phone out with my cross. <laughs> and the last time you feel homesick? Uh, the last time I feel homesick uh, was when I stay in my hometown for a month. Oh, when you stay in your hometown for a month. All right. Yeah. So, and the last time you feel disappointed? Uh, the last time I feel disappointed, that's when I have a badminton competition and uh, I just lose the first round. Fantastic. All right, Ray. All right, Harry. So homework. Let's talk about your homework. So what I want you to do is to, the same you just told me now, all right, okay. these exercises, you're going to write this, all right, in your notebook or book or whatever, and send me the picture. That is going to be your homework. So easy. Okay. It's very simple. So for the next class, you're going to send me this structure. Uh, you're going to tell me the last time you feel nervous, the last time you feel delighted, the last time you feel irritated, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. I think okay. I have.